Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, happy new year, you're welcome. My name is Sandy Safon and if you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe, hit the notification bell to get us by each and every time I upload new tutorials on my channel. If you're all member, you're welcome back. Thank you for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you on how to draft and sew this flyer skirt short. A flyer skirt short, <laughs> do you get that? Like it's just it's so fun this shot is really beautiful because if you put it on someone will actually think you're putting on skirt and if you want to know how i do this keep on watching You're going to be needing a drafting paper to be able to make this pattern. First thing I will do is to come here and measure 3 inch and mark it up. Then I will come here and I will measure 3 and a half inch and mark it up. After marking, I will go ahead to connect it up. When I'm done connecting. Now, if you're going to be making that's adding a elastic waistband to this skirt, you're going to divide your hip measurement by three. If you're going to be making a fitting skirt that you're going to add a zipper to it, you will divide your waist measurement by three. So mine is 28, 28 divided by three will give me nine and a half. I'll go ahead to mark it up. I'll just mark it the way we normally do a circle skirt. After marking it, I'll connect. Next thing I will do now is to come here. I will put in my crush dip measurement, which mine is nine and a half. I will connect it like this. Then I will do the same thing to this other side as well. Then I'll still extend this line here. But while making sure this line here is three and a half, okay? Mark it up. After marking, I will just go ahead now to create that small curve we normally create between the, the trouser. That's to separate the two legs from each other. I'll do the same thing here as well, like this. After connecting it, the next thing I'm going to do now is, I'll go ahead now to put the length of my skirt, which mine is 15, then I'll be adding one inch for the hemming allowance. Altogether is 16, I'll go ahead to mark it up all the way to this other end. After marking it up, I'll go ahead to connect it. Now, I'll just go ahead now to connect it here like this. You can do it in the form of a, just to shape yours a little bit. If you don't want it too wide at the downer part, okay? That's exactly what I'm doing. Then, next thing I'll do is to go ahead to cut that up remember I did not add any zipper allowance so I'll be cutting the I'll be adding it on my fabric when I'm cutting my fabric okay so I'll go ahead to fold it into two that's to mark the front and the back all right so we we'll know which one is the front and which one is the back Here's the back, and here's the front.
remember i said i did not add any zipper allowance so i'm going to be adding my zipper allowance that's three quarter inch okay i'll go ahead to fold in my fabric into two so right side facing each other and i'll place my pattern on top i'll pin now i will just go ahead now to add like i'll add my lining for the waist okay because i'm not going to be using any waistband this lining i'll use it to turn it okay inside i'll just go ahead to add one and a half inch and mark I'll connect it after marking it. Then I'll add my zipper allowance. Just about half or three quarter inch. It's up to you. Now go ahead now to cut that up. Why leaving about half inch for the sewing, all right? Sewing allowance. now i will just go ahead to pin it that's pinning already the crush i'll go ahead to pin and i'm going to do the same thing to the back pin it up then i will take it to the machine i'm gonna leave this part open because it's for the zipper stitch here and i'm gonna stitch here as well half inch when i'm done stitching we have something like this as you can see okay something like this i will join the crush together and pin it up remember uh if you have that overlock machine go ahead to overlock it overlock it okay after pinning i will just take it and stitch half inch when i'm done stitching and i also join the wristband remember i'll cut two i'll just go ahead now to add that's the lining like this right side facing the right side of my my piece right side facing each other i'll go ahead to join it up so i went ahead and stitched this and i also joined the lining to it as you can see right now we are left to add the zipper so I'll just go ahead now to pin the right side of my zipper facing the right side of my fabric. I'm using an invisible zip for this. when i'm done pinning i'll just take it to a machine i must stitch then i'll kind of fold this inside like this to hide up the raw edge of the zipper then i'll hem it that's four half inch and half inch and hem it and i'm done with this this is the finished look you can make yours that's you can extend the allowance okay if you want to this is what it look like on me thank you so much for watching